we and I always tell if I run across a any label or guy that's doing big things, like if I run across a QC right now, you know, uh, P or what I'm, and I tell them, do not get comfortable. Do not think that you you will hold on this to this forever. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One On One. So KL too, but when I when I look at the the, the runs, Excuse y'all me. had different phases, man. It was different phases, like mm. different time, cause time. Yeah. Time, like the early body body is a different time than when you start looking at Ghetto D. It, you're looking at time, yeah. man. But you know something that's crazy? The rap game, I always say it and I'll say it, you know, looking at the camera, whatever they want to do, they lucky. Wow. And the reason why they lucky was because if we didn't have that where we all went our separate ways, we had a whole second and third wave that was coming. That's what I'm talking about. Because I'm coming off a number one album as an artist, number one in the world, right? And so you could say my time was shifting away, but then you still had Magic. You still had Mac. You still had Kane and Abel them. You That's still right, Kane and Abel. You still had the Gambinos. Mm-hmm. You know, we had female artists that was on there, from Alexis to, you know, Mercedes was maturing better as an artist. You know what I mean? We had even had an artist from New York called Blaze yeah. that nobody knew about that was that was... I, w- I can honestly sit in and say that was the little Kim of Foxy Brown, I mean, with serious lyrics. Wow. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And we had other artists that was coming. You still crazy was going to end up being there. All the ones you saw in New No Limit, they still would have ended up there. So you got to understand that we, we, we shut things down and ran everything for four, almost five years. But we had a whole second and third wave coming. Yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah. understand what I'm yeah, saying. And then C Murder was doing TRU records, which you know was ma- was magic, and even other producers. And you still had no limit in this second and third wave that was coming. That's what I see. You know, and so you, you got to understand that, and a lot of people don't realize that y'all got a break. And when they say cash money, oh, they took it and replaced it. No, nah, we was we was the streets, you know. They was they was stunners. That was that was that was that fun. You 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 know how the game go. You know how the streets go. You got that hustler that nobody would never see him. He might drive his bands. That's right. Make millions. He might drive his bands once a year. Yeah. For yeah. for whatever big event coming out yeah. here by you yeah, classic. Show you but you're not gonna show him nothing. And then you got the one that show everybody something. That's right. You had cash money and and then my brothers I, lo- I got love for them. Yeah. But they were who they were. We were who they were. We we who we were. So they didn't take anything. We and I always tell if I run across a any label or guy that's doing big things, like if I run across a QC right now, you know, uh, P or what I'm, and I tell them, do not get comfortable. Do not think that you you will hold on this to this forever. You know what I'm saying? Nobody took nothing from no limit. But how we just got comfortable. How? Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One.